Hi everybody, I'm Como Audio's Peter Skiera here with another how-to video and this time we're going to walk you through how to set up my favorites using the Smart Radio Portal. Uh, the first thing you want to do, well first of all make sure you have your Como Audio Music System near you because you're going to need some information from it. Um, but you want to jump on your computer and type in, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, this URL here, this uh, Smart Radio dot frontier slash nuvola dot net you're going to type that into your browser a lot of people ask what is frontier nuvola uh, they're our software partner so they're based in the uk and they do the software for our models and uh, they maintain this uh, smart radio portal so once you type that in and you, it brings up this web page, and you're going to select this blue bar, this Manage Favorites right here. Select that guy, and it'll bring up a login screen. Now, if you've already set up uh, an account with Nuvola, then, then you can go ahead and log in. Sorry, this is a little blurry here. Um, if not, then you want to select here where it says Sign Up, right there. So Select that. And then you can enter in your name, your email, and your password. Uh, click on that you agree, sign up, and it will send you an email that you need to confirm in order to be able to get onto the uh, site. Uh, to make it easier, you, if you have a Facebook account, you can log in with Facebook. If you have Gmail, you can log in with Gmail. Um, I'm already set up, so I'm going to go ahead and log in so I can demonstrate the site to you. And it'll load the main page. Okay, so there's the main page. You can see I've already got a couple of devices uh, set up here. But for your to help you, we're going to start fresh. So you want to click on, and again, this is a bit blurry, but connect new device. Click on that guy. And it's going to ask you for some information. Right here, it wants your device's access code. So, and then you'll type in the device name. Uh, so you can name it kitchen, bedroom, living room, uh, Mark's radio, however you want to do it. So to get the code, let's go down here to our Musica uh, with the unit on and in internet radio mode. Press and hold this uh, round play pause button on the remote control to get into the menu. And then arrow down to station list number two there. And then arrow down again to where it says help. Right there, help. Select that by pressing the small, this round play pause key briefly is for select. Then you'll see it gives you an access code, right? So I am going to try and type this in um, while I move this over so I can get at my laptop. And it just disappeared. You've only got like... <laughs> 12 seconds it gives you to uh, to record the code, so you may want to write it down if you're if you're as slow as I am. So I'll do this and then and it is um, case sensitive as I recall. So I think if it's got caps, you have to put caps in there. And I'm going to name this. Peter's desk, because this is my work musica. So, and hopefully you type better than I do. So there, I got my code in. I've I've named it. I'm going to now select connect device. And if I did this correctly, it'll connect to my musica and show it. So if you look down there on the list, it's now added Peter's desk. So that is now connected to um, the portal. So what do you do now? Okay, well, let's say you want to search for some internet stations you know that, that you know names of. So click on stations up here. Our Wi-Fi is a little slow, so please bear with us. That gives you a little search bar. So you can type in uh, the actual name of the station if you know it. So I'm going to type in here uh, Radio Swiss Jazz, which is one of our favorite stations, and search. By the way, it's showing you we have 
as of this recording. We have over 55,000 stations in the database, over 27,000 podcasts, and just last week alone, over 9,000 stations were added into the database. So I've typed in the name of the station, search. It's going to come up with whatever it finds. And there's, this is the one I want, Radio Swiss Jazz. That's the one that we listen to all the time. And if I want to add it to favorites, I just go over here. You got this little green heart symbol. Click on that. And again, we wait for our slow Wi-Fi. And so it shows the, the information on the station. Very important here. You want to scroll down and where it says, I wish this would clear up a bit. But where it says here, shared favorites, you must click that or else it's not going to show up in whatever units you've got linked to the portal. So definitely make sure you click on saved, uh, shared favorites and then click save. And then that station will appear in your Como Audio system under my favorites. And so I'm just going to go into the My Favorites list so you can see that in there. If I click out of that, I go over here, back to Musica, and I'm going to go into the menu once again like we did before, but I'm going to go to Station List, and then you see at the top it says My Favorites. Select that, and I've got a bunch of stations in there, you can see, but we're interested in Radio Swiss which is the one I just added. And there it is, Radio Swiss Jazz. So I just that's the one I just added. I can select it, and it will play. I don't have the volume up right now, but you can see I selected it and it played. Now going forward, you don't have to do that every time you want to add a station to My Favorites. Once you've registered and you're, you're in there and you've associated your system to My Favorites, from then on, all you have to do is use your remote control, and it has to be done by the remote, and by pressing the play pause button briefly on the station you want to save to favorites. So let's see, I'm not sure what I've got here. That's Bluetooth, internet radio, four drive jazz. Okay, let's say I want to save that station to favorites. I just tuned it, it's there. I want to put it in favorites. Again, I press this button briefly, the play pause. Favorite added, so it's there. So now if I go back into the menu and go back into my favorites, it should have, there it is, for Drive Jazz, and I can select it. So that's basically what you do to set up My Favorites and put stations in My Favorites. I just want to go back to this site again once more, show you a few other things. So devices will show you all the devices you've got linked to the portal and for you to add new devices. Favorites, click on that, that will... <coughs> Excuse me. That will show you all the radio stations, the internet radio stations you've added as a favorite. And if you decide you don't want one in there anymore for whatever reason, you can only do this in the portal. You can't do it on the unit or with the remote. You go into the portal, log in, and you see this little red trash can logo on the side here, which is a bit blurry. But if you decide you don't want that station, Click on the trash can. It's going to ask you to confirm. I'll confirm it. And it just removed that station from the favorites list. So that's done. Uh, you can do the same for podcasts. And I have a couple of podcasts in there already, as you can see, or kind of see. Um, personal streams. This is another good one. If there is um, a radio station that is not in our database that you want to get added to your Como audio system, you can do that. In most cases, you can do it. You need to find the station's URL, right? The, the URL that they broadcast their station from. So you need to get that. Um, maybe you can email, if you don't know it, maybe you can email the station, find them on the internet, email them, ask them what their URL is. And then you type it, or actually you 
select this, this personal stream here, select that. And we're waiting and we're waiting. Okay. So you type in, once you have that station URL, you type it right here. Okay. And then you can give it a name, whatever you want to name it, you can name it. And then again, most important, click on shared favorites. So it will, you'll be able to access it from your music system. And then click on save personal stream. And I have one in there already. You can see I did one, this one, this one right here, this um, Christmas station, because this happens to be December that I'm doing this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some important things to keep in mind. Uh, some stations cannot be added. For example, iHeart radio stations, uh, they group all their stations under the iHeart app and they don't share them with internet station aggregators. So you can't do uh, iHeart stations. Uh, also, the codec, the audio codec that the station broadcasts, uh, we support MP3. You can see it right here. Supports MP3, AAC, ASF, DASH, and in some cases, not all cases, but in some cases, HTTPS. So if your station uses something other than those codecs, it will not save. So just some important things to keep in mind there. If you do that, if you do turn around and add a specific URL successfully, then you'll go back over to your Como system here. To find it, you'll get into the menu, go to station list, and let's see, is this down here? Yep, you arrow down to where it says my added stations and select it, and you'll see it there. That's that Xmas station we that I showed you earlier. Um, not coming in very well, but and then you just select it and it will tune and play if you've added the URL correctly and successfully, and now it's playing. Let's turn it up a little bit here so you can hear it. So that's how to add a, a specific station URL. I'm going to go back one. So we did devices, we did favorites, we did stations, which allows you to search for stations, and then podcasts is the same uh, type of situation. If you want to search for a specific podcast, you can do that. Uh, and that's that's it. Uh, that's that's all there is to it. Just uh, make sure you get that code under the help menu. Uh, register for the portal. Um, if it sends you a confirmation email, make sure you confirm. Add in that code. And then add your device. And uh, that's about it. There's nothing else you need to do. Once you do that, you're all set up. You can use the remote control going forward to save to favorites. If you want to remove a favorite, you have to go into the portal and select that red trash can. If you want to add a specific station URL that's not in our database, you have to go to the portal and go under um, adding the, the personal stream. So that's it. If you have, uh, oh, I should mention this is all in writing. There's a blog article uh, that's called, um, so it's called My Favorites or My Favorites is Back. Uh, so you can check that out. If I go over to, uh, let's see, let's go to, um, let's go to our website. Go up in the corner here, click on the box, go over to blog, and you'll see lots of interesting blog articles on all different things, recommended stations and music. And if I go over to page three, there it is there, Tech Wrap, My Favorites is Back. Select that. And it gives you detailed instructions with screenshots of how to do what we just went through. So either way, you're, you're covered. If you get stuck, run into a problem, have a question, please email us at info at comoaudio.com. We'll be happy to help you. Uh, we want you to take full advantage of everything your music system can do. So please check it out. We thank you for your time. And uh, we'll see you next time on another how-to video.